The festal letters or Easter letters are a series of annual letters by which the bishops of Alexandria, in conformity with the decision of the First Council of Nicaea, announced the date on which Easter was to be celebrated. The council chose Alexandria because of its famous school of astronomy. The date of Easter depends on the spring equinox and the phases of the moon. Can you spot the heresy in that? Because that is the smoking gun for the first council of Nicaea. Because it's, I don't want to read the whole thing again, but choosing Alexandria because it's famous for a school of astronomy and, the, and because the Easter depends on the spring equinox and moon lunar phases. And this is, you know, the Babylonians were apparently the first to um, follow the Zodiac uh, and being famous astronomers. Same with the Egyptians. The first council of Nicaea was the apostatizing of the churches. Easter is the spring equinox, as we know. Um, and therefore, you can see how Christianity became apostatized after the first council of Nicaea. Athanasius was bishop of Alexandria, and Arius, Arius was a presbyter from Alexandria. And Athanasius, at this council, stood for what is now called orthodoxy, and is obviously heresy. Um, you know, if you look at the book of Daniel identifying Constantine the Great as the little horn, uh, where Athanasius also uh, instigates in this council the what becomes known as the Trinity, where they deem that Christ is uncreated, and they come up with the Nicene Creed saying uh, people who agree that Christ is created are to be excommunicated. So the, the heretical council here, led by Athanasius, he also, uh, being a fan of Irenaeus, who uh, wrote uh, against heresies, banned certain books, or, or many, many books, that the uh, anti-Nicene Christians used and termed them Apocrypha. Um, and Athanasius seems to be the first one who, who, uh, who did this. So let's look into this idolatry concerning Easter. It's a movable date. Um, the equinox can change slightly every year from March 19th, 20th or 21st. So the church simply fixed the date for the spring equinox at March the 21st. Um, we've already established that the crucifixion and the Passover was ABIB 14, which is roughly April the 14th and around that time. So, spring equinox was fixed around the time of the 21st of March. Complicating matters when determining the date of Easter is the fact that Western Christianity follows the Gregorian calendar, while Eastern Christianity continues to use the Julian calendar which has accrued 13 days out of sync since 325 AD. Therefore, in Western Christianity, Easter falls on a Sunday anywhere between March the 22nd and April 25th, while in Eastern churches it varies between the 4th of April and May the 8th. So what, what it's saying is it's this astronomical computation and the amalgamation of uh, these calendars, Gregorian and the Julian being different, there's a, there's a wide span on, on where they can celebra celebrate so-called, uh, well, damn themselves to hell with this demonic Easter, which can be any, anywhere from March the 25th to, to April 25th. Now, we know this, this wide swing over that whole entire month was absolutely nothing like uh, AB 14th, which is a set date of, of the crucifixion. So we've got this variable date where we need to work out when Easter is according to the apostate church. Um, and if I, you know, mention the 325 AD Council of Nicaea, that it says from henceforth the church was going to observe Easter, which the Romans did in ancient times, and no longer observe the Jewish Passover. You might actually think the Jewish Passover was irrelevant because Christianity was not the same 
religion as the Jews. However, the Gospel states that Christ was crucified on the Passover because when they um, break, go to break his legs uh, and see that he's already dead, they went to break his legs because they wanted to, them to die quicker because it says uh, the next day was going to be a high day and they didn't, it wasn't lawful for, to kill anyone on a high day, which was the Passover. Okay, so we have a marker there of the crucifixion of Christ on the Passover. He is the Passover lamb. And we see the allegorical nature of the Jews leaving Egypt on the Passover where they, they kill the lamb and put the blood on the door and the angel of death passes over them. So you see the whole, the whole allegory of the crucifixion and it's setting a date. Now, the month was known as Abib, uh, prior to the uh, Babylonian siege and post Babylonian siege when Cyrus the Great brings them back they call the, the month Nisan but it's the 14th and always was the 14th now if I read uh, Eusebius Church History chapter 24 titled The Disagreement in Asia uh, it says but the bishops of Asia led by Polycrates decided to hold to the old custom handed down to them he himself in a letter which he addressed to Victor and the Church of Rome set forth in the following words the tradition which had come down to him we observe the exact day neither adding nor taking away for in asia also great lights have fallen asleep which shall rise again on the day of the lord's coming when he shall come with glory from heaven and shall seek out all the saints among these are philip one of the twelve apostles who fell asleep in hierapolis and his two aged virgin daughters and another daughter who lived in the holy spirit and now rests at ephesus and moreover john who was both a witness and a teacher who reclined upon the bosom of the Lord and being a priest wore a sacerdotal plate he fell asleep at Ephesus and Polycarp in Smyrna who was bishop and martyr and Thrasius bishop and martyr of Eumenia who fell asleep in Smyrna why need I mention the bishop and martyr Sagaris who fell asleep in Laodicea or the blessed Papyru, Papyrus or Melito the eunuch who lived altogether in the Holy Spirit and who lies in Sardis waiting awaiting the episcopate from heaven when he shall rise from the dead all these observed the 14th day of the passover according to the gospel deviating in no respect but following the rule of faith and i also polycrates the least of you all do according to the tradition of my relatives some of whom i have closely followed for seven of my relatives were bishops and i am the eighth and my relatives always observe the day when the people put away the leaven this is amazing here this bit because he says all these observe the 14th day of the Passover according to the gospel now it's saying that, that this is a gospel tradition 14th day clearly the crucifixion of Jesus Christ <clears throat> now if you're not aware if you're not aware of this story it's basically Victor of Rome wanted to move, I mean this is around about 190 AD when Commodius was the Emperor of Rome, so it's it's around that time frame, uh, much much before the, uh, the Council of Nicaea, but um, this victor of Rome, this bishop, um, it, it, this, this particular story already shows the influence that the Bishop of Rome was, was starting to have upon all of Christendom, and that he wanted to move the Passover from from the 14th to the uh, to the Sunday.